Kenyans have continued to mourn Hilary Ngweno, the veteran journalist and editor who died yesterday at the age of 83. Ngweno has made a huge contribution to the development of media in Kenya, including training some of Kenya's finest journalists. Nayuma Sampao reports. It is indeed a great honor to me and my family that an institution of such high academic standing as Moi University has chosen to recognize my journalistic and publishing endeavors. The name Hilary Ngueno is synonymous with the history of journalism in Kenya. He was the publisher of Joe magazine, a popular 1970s publication that reflected the issues of the day with biting humor. He founded the weekly review that brought deep insights and analysis into political and economic matters. A jack of all trades, Ngueno also dipped his fingers into broadcasting, producing outstanding TV documentaries, including the award-winning Makers of a Nation series that he produced in conjunction with the Nation Media Group. His relationship with Nation dated back to the early 60s when he joined the group after his studies at Harvard University. He became first African editor-in-chief of the Nation at the age of 25. Many will remember Ngueno for his drama, Tushauriane and Usiniharakishi, a series that was banned for tackling teenage sex. Those who had a chance of working with Ngueno describe him as an astute mentor. Learning at the feet of Hillary was better than any university. If it hadn't been for him and his uh, openness and his willingness to try out a person with no training, no experience, I don't think I would even have got into, ever got, got into journalism. So he was more than a, an employer. He was a mentor, he was a trainer, and he was a father figure. When his family say they have lost the person they would often run to for answers and for guidance. As recently as three days before his passing, he was still able to do walks around, uh, around the home. And that's why we as a family are really feeling the big loss because three days ago he was walking around and uh, now we don't have him here physically with us. The hole that my dear uncle Hillary has left is a very big one. His shoes, I don't think there's anybody who would be able to, to fit in them. And really at this time, it's a difficult time for we as a family having lost uh, our dear Hillary. Among the leaders who have sent messages of condolences to the family is President Uhuru Kenyatta. President Kenyatta mourned him as a distinguished Kenyan whose contribution to the growth of the country's media will be remembered for generations to come. <music> Burial plans are underway. Nayoma Sampao, NTV. His legacy will indeed outlive him for a long time to come. May he rest in peace.